Hello everyone, thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Excalibur CCG TV. We are Excalibur Comics, Cards, and Games here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Don't forget about our store in Texarkana, Texas. If you live that, that way, that's going to be your store to go to. And you can always find out what's going on with us at ExcaliburCCG.com. I am Chris. My co-host Buzz is here with me this week. Uh, and Randy is working his tail off downstairs. <laughs> Sorry, Randy fans. No, no. Yeah, sorry, Randy fans. It's been busy. It's been busy. So Randy's been tied up with there, and Buzz has been a gentleman to step up to the plate and help me out here, so I appreciate it, bro. There you go. You deserve it. Props. Big props. Big pops. Big, big pops. Big, prop big for props for Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, hey, listen. It is early, but I am going to go ahead and tell you now. Free comic book day is coming. Mark your calendars. First Saturday of May. And I believe this year it's May 2nd. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, go ahead and mark your calendars. We'll be announcing and talking more about that between now and then. Free Comic Book Day is, is it's like a month and a half away. First weekend in May. Yeah, it's the first weekend in May. So, don't get confused. Just the first week, that first Saturday in May. Uh, and uh, if I'm not, is that, is that, that's, I think that's coinciding with Avengers 2. Sure. So, there we go. Boom. Uh, but there's going to be a ton of great stuff coming out. I'll have a list of stuff on the website soon. You'll be able to see and I'll be able to take you there. But, Mark your calendars now. It's coming. Don't get left out in the rain. Guys, don't forget, we're on iTunes and Stitcher. So if you want to download, listen to us there. That is available as well. The links are in the, the description below. God bless you, sir. That was a cut off, but thank you. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Hey, there's a ton of number ones uh, that we're going to be covering this week. We're not even going to be covering all of them, but there are several that we are going to cover. Let me go ahead and start off with one that's probably going to be the biggest one for the week. None from DC or, or Marvel. These are all independent number ones. But some big names attached with several of them. So, guys, let's get started here with Chrononauts, number one from Image Comics. Mark Miller, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy just finished up a, a run on The Wake with uh, Scott Snyder. That mini maxi series just finished up here not too long ago. Now he's teamed up with Mark Miller, who you know from... Jupiter's Legacy, from Wanted, from Civil War. You know who I'm talking about, Mark Miller, that one. They team up together to tell us about Chrononauts. These are two scientific geniuses that have been best friends for years, and now they have the ability to time travel. And the big question is, are they actually going to do something for mankind, or are they going to do something for themselves with their ability to time travel? So this also takes a look at, this is going to be te like televised. Like They have a way of time traveling. And it being televised, so like American Idol style or something, you know, where you can see what's going on as they're doing it. So this is a very, very cool concept to me. Televised, time traveling, will these guys do the right thing or will they end up doing something for themselves? Reality TV, I hope they all die. There you go, there you go. So what's up for you, Buzz? <laughs> Invisible Republic, number oh. one. Yes, yes. Breaking Bad meets Blade Runner. Author McBride's planetary regime has fallen. His story is over. Yep. That is until reporter Kroger Bab discovers the journal of Arthur's cousin, Maya. Inside is the violent, audacious, audacious hidden history of the legendary freedom fighter. Erased from the official record, Maya alone knows how dangerous her cousin really is. Brought to you by Gabriel Hardman and Corina Beckho. Beck <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but Breaking Bad meets Blade Runner. Yeah. Come on, I like that tagline. Meth? I mean, come on. Uh, well, I didn't probably, say anything about that. Uh, there's no meth. <laughs> I doubt there will be no the drugs. drugs were used in this company. Maybe in the making of it. But, but you may see some choice cuss words along the there way. Who go. knows? Yeah. It's probably going to be adult rated. So there you go, guys. Next up for me, Manhattan Projects Beyond uh, Sun Beyond the Stars, number one. Manhattan Projects was. Uh, going, then they decided to stop it and relaunch it to take it in a new direction. That new direction involves Russian astronaut Yuri Gagarin as he finds his true calling out among the stars. We get to take a look at the book told in a, in a different uh, format, different story going forward here. So it's even more of the same feel good, bad science stuff that we saw with Manhattan Projects, but primarily focusing on Yuri uh, for this next leg of the adventure. So I'm looking forward to it. It's on my pool list. What's next for you, Buzz? Anybody up for a new Hillboy comic book? Well, we don't have one. But we do have one by the creator of Hillboy, Mike Magnolia. Yeah. Frankenstein Underground, number one. Yes. Frankenstein is a creature alone 
abandoned <laughs> and wandering underground. <laughs> Where will he discover other creatures and dark secrets to the universe? <laughs> like a Muppet. That, it kind of sounded like that a Muppet to me. That reminded me of a Muppet. It did. <laughs> it was great. I do voiceover. But yeah, guys, Frankenstein Underground number one. What's next, bro? Speaking of one, we have Red One. Yes. Number one. What happened when America's greatest hero is a Russian spy? Soviet agent Vera Velikhnikov <laughs> is sent to 1977 <laughs> Los Angeles by the Kremlin <laughs> to become an American superhero. And spread communist values in the land of Uncle Sam. What? In a funky superhero romp straight out of a Tarantino film. That's Quentin Tarantino for the land. But anyway, that one will be brought to you by Terry and Rachel Dodson. Yeah. And Xavier Dorison. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean I'm sold on Dodson right there. Oh, yeah. You know, that artwork's going to be fantastic. So, boom, I'll be checking that out. Couple of quick things here with some no a notable issue. Uh, last week we had uh, uh, Detective Comics Endgame come out. This week uh, it's going to be Batgirl Endgame. It's facing the same type of situation. A ghost, uh, Jokerized madmen are all over Gotham City. They're determined to spread the, the Joker virus, but they're going to have to get through Batgirl first to be able to do that. So those fans of what's going on with this Endgame tie-in storyline that's going on with these one shots and fans of Batgirl do not miss that. Also, like we predicted last week, this week we're getting two parts of the Black Vortex storyline. I thought it was going to be four. I actually said four. Maybe we'll get four this week, but it's two. <coughs> Starting with all new X-Men number 39, chapter five of the Black Vortex storyline. Storm is trying to get the, get the heroes out of Mr. Knife's Flying Fortress that he has. We have uh, uh, Beast and Kitty going to Spartax to decipher some secrets of the Vortex book. There's actually a book associated with this magic portal, this magic mirror, the Black Vortex that they're dealing with. And we also see Kitty Pride and Peter Quill's relationship take a downward turn. So what will happen with that? Also, a book that's tied in to the Black Vortex storyline, but not an official part of it, is Guardians Team-Up number three. This takes a look at the Black Vortex when it strikes at the heart of the Kree Empire. And now we get Ronan the Accuser involved with what's going on. Now that's a team-up. That right there should be pretty interesting. So we get to take a look at that. What will Ronan do? Will he save his, his Kree brothers or will he betray them? So that's what we got going on there, guys, with the storylines. Two more parts of the Black Vortex storyline. And like we mentioned before, guys, there's other stuff coming up with Marvel and with DC, but it's not here yet. We got Convergence coming up. We've got Secret War stuff coming up. We'll be talking to you more and more about that as that gets closer. But that's our new and notables and storylines. Now on to our favorites. These are the comics that are the first comics that we read the moment we get them and take them home and have them in our grubby paws. So, Buzz, what's your first favorite that you're looking forward to? Spread number six. Oh. Oh, yeah. Writer, written by Justin Jordan. Really been enjoying this book. If you're into, like, kind of horror, sci-fi type stuff, end of the world, apocalyptic type stuff. Spread worms, sirens, raiders, cannibals, the preacher, everything collides. Everything collides. Almost everybody dies. <laughs> the first arc ends here, so be looking for a trade on this one. Yes. If you didn't read the first five issues, spread number six. Yeah. This week. There you go. Into the first story arc. And uh, true, and probably what we'll see too is uh, the trade will come out in its own month, and then we'll have another issue number seven come out after. Like they've been doing a lot with a lot of image books where they kind of take a break. But there you go, guys. What I'm really looking forward to this week is going to be the first thing that I read is Secret Identities number two. That hits this week. If you look back on the channel, I did a review of Secret Identities number one. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm really looking forward to issue number two. We get to take a look at uh, Crosswind as he integrates himself more into the uh, frontline superhero team that he's uh, been inducted into. And we also get to take a look at Gai Jin and how she may actually have to deal with a family conflict of interest with what she does and what members of her family do. So I'm really looking forward to that. What's next for you, Buzz? Judge Dredd, number 28. Dredd. Haven't heard Dredd's name on the show in so long. It's good to be back, Judge. Good to be back. <laughs> Mega City Manhunt ends here. The long run is over, and Dredd wants Chief Justice Cal to answer for his crimes. But Mega City 1 is already in twitchy 
paranoid chaos, namely thanks to the events of issue 27. I don't know what happened there. Go read it, punk. Go read it, punk. Go read it. I love it. Great, great stuff. Yeah, Judge Dredd hasn't been mentioned. You're the only one that mentions it. What's what's up with that? Uh, Next up for me, uh, Moon Knight number 13. This is a new creative team. We have uh, Mm. Cullen Bunn and Ron Atkins coming on board here. Uh, but the, with the way that the uh, last issue ended of, of the cre- uh, previous creative team that was on the book, the way that it ended, I liked it. I'm like, okay, i gotta, I got to see what Cullen Bunn and, and Atkins are going to do here for this. So I'm going to be te- checking it out. An all-new story arc here. We can take a look at Mark Spector picking up the pieces of his life because it did get shattered there in the last couple of issues. And now we're going to see if he can rebuild it. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hulk number 13. You yes. read Hulk still, don't you? I all do. Right. I do. We saw the Hulk hire a certain Merc with a mouth That's right. to help him find Thaddeus Ross, a.k.a. Yes. Thunderbolt Ross, a.k.a. Red Hulk. Yes. Because if you haven't been keeping up, uh, Doc Green is trying to negate all the gamma radiated mm-hmm. tools and fools out there in the Marvel Universe. He's been doing an exceptional job, except for the Red Hulk. The Red Hulk got the best of them last time they found Yeah, he did. And now the Hulk's, or Doc Green's own uh, technology that he's created is turning on him, so. Yep. I don't know. Is the extremist wearing off on him? His personality definitely changed last issue. So yeah. We'll definitely see. And did we mention Deadpool? <laughs> we did. Randy, that's for you. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Guys, that's our favorites. That's our favorites that are hitting the shelf this week that we're going to be uh, reading first. Tell us in the comments below what you will be reading first as well. Buzz, real quick. Guys, one of the vendors that was at the Louisiana Comic Con is called Odd Duck Studios. And they make these one-of-a-kind watches of various comic book characters. You can have them custom made. uh, And it can be of any character that you want. You can choose the band, the watch. And Buzz has his here of Black Knight, if you can see that. So there we go. It, it 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 looks great. And if you check them out, Odd Duck Studios on Facebook, you'll be able to find out their site and everything there. Looks great. Uh, really nice looking watch. You should they check it out. They are all one of a kind too. Once they use a picture from whatever watch, they never use it again. Yes. So you will have be the only person that they make that watch for. Exactly. Exactly. So that, that's really cool. You should check them out. And with that out of the way, we are diving into our question of the week. And it's a doozy because there's some major changes to ma- two major iconic superheroes. If you haven't uh, seen the news, uh, <coughs> after the events of Convergence, Superman and Wonder Woman are both going to have different costumes. Did you notice they didn't change Batman's so? Uh They did, actually. Well. I mean, there is a change. What? But Not for yet. this one, we're talking about Superman and Wonder Woman. Our question of the week is, what are your thoughts on the new costumes of Wonder Woman and Superman? And I'm going to have those playing right now so you can take a look at both of them uh, on screen. But, Buzz, first up, what do you think of Superman's new costume? I don't think it's new. It looks like the exact same one he had it at does. the beginning of Action Comics, except yes. that there's a black background in the S now instead of the... Yellow. It's, yeah, is that? I mean, that's it. It's a T-shirt and jeans. Or it might have been black before. Was it black? Or I can't. Black? Honestly, I don't remember to be honest. It with looks. You. It looks kind of more like the Kingdom Come logo. You know, the black background. Yeah, and see, honestly, they haven't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen it clarified that if that's just going to be for Action Comics or if that's going to be for the the Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr. or the new uh, Greg Pack. No, no, John Romita Jr. and uh, Jeff Johns. No. The guy who wrote American Born Chinese, he's going to be the new writer oh, of Superman. Uh, Gene Young. Oh, okay. uh, uh, so I don't know if that costume is, is going to be for that book as well. Uh, you know, John Romita Jr. is going to have to draw Superman in a t-shirt and blue jeans. So what? Well, wait, see, I just, I don't know, man. I'm like, I, no, I don't think. I like the, the old costume. I mean, even the update they did with the goofy little collar is better than a t-shirt to me. I prefer like, that too. Like, it was, I was okay with it whenever uh, Morrison, was it Morrison that started it? Yeah, it was he and Rags Morales. I mean, that's understandable that a guy just starting out as a superhero can have a t-shirt and jeans as a costume. You know? Yeah. But once he's established his 
Kryptonian like suit armor or whatever you want to call it. I mean, why go back to a t-shirt and jeans? I mean, granted, I would wear a t you know, I'd rather wear a t-shirt and jeans to work, but you know. Exactly. I'm not a superhero. So what do you think about Wonder Woman's? I'm more okay with hers than I am Superman's. I I'm still I'm a stickler for old costumes, honestly. Okay. Like, I like Wonder Woman's old costume. Like, it, I've said before, I like Hawkeye's old costume more mm -hmm. than the, you know, I'm a Matrix looking. <laughs> oh, I Earth like her new, I like her new costume. Yeah, I, li I like it. It's more of a, to me, it's less of a costume and more of a, um, outfit. Cute little outfit. More of like, yeah, more of like a, more of like a warrior's gear, or soldier's <laughs> gear. You know, more of like something I would see someone in battle wearing mm -hmm. instead of, you know, bikini. Right. You know, just... Not the same very, very uh, conveys the door of bikini while you're fighting. But yeah, exactly. Maybe she's going for the distraction deal. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm surprised at how uh, modest it is. Right. And I, I honestly, I kind of like that. So well, they, they've done that before, too. They have done that before, yeah. Yeah, quite like it. So. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I like that. Mm -hmm. I, but honestly, though, we don't know post convergence where these people are going to be mm -hmm. in their in their own universes. I mean, everything is getting changed up with convergence. So we, I don't know. We we may be getting a younger Clark Kent, a young Superman. We may be getting a more Themyscira oriented and involved Wonder Woman. You know, maybe she's not so much involved in the ways of man or something. You know, I don't know. So guys, that's what we want to know. If you see, you saw the costumes on screen, tell us what you think of each of them in the comments below. What your thoughts on their costumes? We want to know because it's, because there's a couple of forums I went to where it was just blowing up, man. Facebook, a couple of Facebook posts and stuff too. It was like Rah! everybody was on board for that. So guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for pressing play. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. It's right beneath here. If you watched this far, you know that you want to. Guys, thanks for watching. We are Scalibur Comics, Cards, and Games here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Don't forget about our store in Texarkana, Texas, and our website, ScaliburCCG.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be safe. Take care. Read some great comic comics. Give us some great comments. <laughs> and we'll see you in our and next in video. For comments. <laughs> be safe. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>